implementation of that. How in the world are we going to implement two tax systems at one time? And, and to repeal one, we've got to have a constitutional amendment. And we got people that couldn't agree on what direction the sun comes up. I mean, let's, I, I don't know how we how we do that. Okay. I'm also bothered that it just expects you and me as small business owners to be the tax player. I'm tired of working with the federal government for free. Okay? Okay? I, 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 so if I'm doing all the tax collecting, okay, and they give me a point zero seven five, oh, well, they give you a little allowance. You're right. It is, it is a little. It, it's, it's, it pales in comparison to what it costs me to hire that person, pay that person benefits. I'm tired of the, government, the federal government boot on the neck of small business. Get away from me. They don't get it. So we need reform. We need reform in the IRS. Uh, the biggest issue that we're facing in this country right now is runaway spending. On taxes, though, we need to drop corporate tax rates from 35% down to 25%. Unlike Congressman Alan Boyd, we need a total repeal of the death tax. Total. Yeah. Next year, if the patriarch of your family dies, I'm telling you folks, guess what? That heritage has ceased to exist because you got to you got to give them 55% of the value of your family business. And of course they're gonna want their capital gain when 45% is left. Guess what? Nothing. So where's the incentive to grow? Where's the incentive to, to expand your business? It's a disincentive. I am tired of the federal government penalizing those that create jobs. Because the federal government doesn't create jobs. They create messes. As he said, a lot of state messes up in the left about it all mentioned it. Some of you getting on up today to just want to be careful to be with your children. Because uh, most of you know 2010, it doesn't matter if you got a nine billion or a hundred billion, there's no inheritance tax this year. So make sure you got your dog for things for a while. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> be careful. King's taster. No inheritance tax in 2010. <laughs> That's right. Again, like Steve said, when they go to back to the level, because Congress has a lot of everything, go from one extreme to another, it's back to the bottom of one million. If you're saying, well, you know, it's not that, but it's now, Ms. Al, you got a question? Well, the question was, where do I stand on securing the border? Uh, this kind of goes back to the lessons of my youth. I have shared numerous times around this district that uh, I was in a little boat with my dad and my brother Tim, and the boat was leaking. And uh, one of us started bailing water, and my dad said, no, son, you don't bail. You don't bail. We'll get to the bail. We gotta find the hole. We gotta find the hole. Common sense was you plug the hole first and then you bail. You don't bail, then plug the hole. Government wants to bail, talk about bailing, buy buckets for bailing, and then sue to make sure we don't use them. <laughs>
do and the lives that the, 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 I mean, the chances they take. We've got a mess in Arizona. Phoenix is the number one capital, uh, I mean, the number one kidnapping capital in the world. Uh, it is a war zone. I can't believe that people are going to try to justify that on American soil. And that's ground we've already fought for, bled for. That's America. And so I, I, applaud, uh, I applaud the governor. I applaud what they're doing out there. Uh, you know, you're a citizen of two states, of two places. You're a citizen of the state of Florida. And you're a citizen of the United States of America. And both of those governments have the responsibility to provide for your security. I'm, it's a call. It's a call. This administration finds it necessary to sue Arizona so they cannot protect the citizens of their people, of their country, of their state. Again, the death of common sense. Yes, ma'am. I'd like to know that you will uh, take the oath of office and you will support the Constitution and the Constitution of the Say this. I will. Uh, let me let me let me paint a pretty good picture for you for that day. I will put my hand on a living document. Thank you. 
give out of one intent and whether another person wants to give out of another. People are here in this country free to give to what they want to give. And even though I want to give because I believe in tithes and offerings and, and I believe that God loves a cheerful giver and, and, I, and, I, and I want that to be a blessing, that's my intent. And that may be your intent. But in this country, unfortunately, I can't afford